Hey everybody, Tanya from Shooting Star SVG back and today I want to talk to y'all about designing inlays for earrings or just inlays in general. In this video, I'm going to show you how to utilize Inkscape, which is a free to use vector software to create your inlay and then bring it over into Lightburn and show you what it looks like as well as my settings for a Thunder Laser Nova. 3580 and how I used mixed media to accomplish this really cool look. So with that being said, I'm going to hop over to my computer and we'll get started. I have Inkscape open. I am just going to create a very basic star shape and I'm going to keep it super simple. So one thing I'm going to do is I'm going to round these corners out just a little bit because I don't like when I have sharp things near my ears. Okay, I'm gonna bring that spoke ratio out just a little bit. And then I'm going to add a stroke of one and I'm gonna remove the fill. So this is gonna be the base shape that we're utilizing. I'm gonna duplicate that by hitting Control D on the keyboard. Make sure your aspect ratio is turned on and locked. And then I'm just gonna hold down shift key and I'm gonna bring this down until I'm comfortable with the outside. Now, for me, I'm generally using wood for the outside and then acrylic for the inside, but you could do acrylic and acrylic if that's something that you want to do. It's just, I like to do the mixed media approach. Um, I'm also gonna create a hole for the earring to go through in the same way. And I'm just going to bring that down. Make sure that it's centered and I'm good there. So it's just a very basic design that we're working with here. And the biggest thing is you wanna make sure that you have the outline appropriated. So I'm gonna group that. We'll see how big that is. The height is a little bit too tall for me. I like to stick those to about 1.5. That hole should be good, but we'll see. Sometimes I have to do a little bit of trial and error with the hole for the jump ring, um, because if it's too small, I can't fit my jump ring. But also, if it is too little, it creates the wood to be kind of brittle. So again, the biggest thing is you're creating your shape and then you want to create another size of that particular shape so you can get your outline and this is where the acrylic is gonna go in. Now we can bring this into light burn and I can show y'all what it will take to offset that. Keep in mind for this, I am on my basic computer so I'm using a bunk laser on this right now, um, but you'll get the general idea because I'm gonna bring um, y'all over to the laser once I get this situated. So first things first, you're going to want to duplicate this middle portion by hitting control D because this is going to be the separate part that you cut out. So this is going to be cut one right here. Cut one will be your wood cut and cut two is going to be your <clears throat> acrylic cut or whatever your inlay is going to be. So I always make a different color for that. Um, for the wood, I'm just going to do a single line pass. I'm going to do 20 speed and 60 max power with my air assist on. Whatever your settings are for cutting wood will be fine. Um, one pass, nothing on the kerf offset, okay? For the acrylic or whatever the outline is, you're going to do 20 speed, 90% power is what I do for acrylic on a Thunder Nova 3580. And you want to set your kerf offset to 0 0.01 outward. What that's going to do is it's going to take this shape right here and it's going to cut outside of it by 0 0.01. And the reason why we do this is because the laser beam will cut out a very small amount of material around your item. So a good way to check what this is, is you get a pair of digital calipers and you cut out a two by two inch square and then you measure what the square is. So I'm gonna show you what that looks like. Hold on. I actually did a one inch by one inch square. And you see this here. And you just take your calipers and you're going to want to get that in there as tight as you can. 
and then you're gonna want to see what the numbers are on the calipers. Now, if you had a one inch by one inch, that lives, gives you how much was taken off from your particular laser, okay? Now, I just started mine at 0.01, and that seemed to do the trick. It's going to be different for whatever laser you're utilizing. It will also change based off of material type, and it will change based off of your focal length. So you wanna make sure when you are creating something that you're doing a test cut before you rock and roll because it could be different. So with that being said, I'm going to switch over to my phone and I'm gonna load this file into Lightburn and I'll show you the real-time cut and what the, that looks like when we're done. So I'll catch y'all over there. I am here on Lightburn on my actual computer that I send and I'm gonna save this as star. And that is gonna be my wood cutout. Delete that. I'm gonna add in my offset here. And you can see that I have the kerf offset. Hopefully y'all can see that at 0 0.01. I'm gonna also send that as star inlay. And now that that's at the machine, we'll get rocking and rolling. So I have my wood set up here. I'm just going to go ahead and close this. I'm going to go to File. And then we will go ahead and start that. Go ahead and get my star file there. We're gonna go ahead and start that. So I went ahead and peeled that masking off that y'all saw, and here is the wood out cut that we did, and it just sits right in there. Um, I will say the outline of this particular one is a little bit flimsy for my liking, but with the acrylic in there it will beef that up so you don't really have to worry. Um, and because this fits in as well as it does, all I do is I take a layer of B7000, and this has a thin tip to it. And what I do is I'll just run that around here, and then I will um, set that in, and that way it doesn't go anywhere and it stays where it needs to be. There you go. That is inlays in a nutshell. Just a really cool thing that you can do kind of hard to see the awesomeness of this particular acrylic but it does shimmer in the light and I love it it is a clear acrylic but again this is the outside of that star that we had created in light burn and this is the interior of the acrylic that was cut out for that mixed media um, and it just pops right in there well, like I said in the previous video you just add glue around the inside of here after you stain your wood I do like to stain my wood um, and then add your material in and you're good to go and you have an outline so you don't have to just utilize this for earrings you can utilize it for a lot of different things I've seen people do like night lights and sun catchers and all these different sorts of things so the possibilities are endless hopefully that helps again I'm using a thunder Nova 3580. That is what I, the big beast behind me. If there's any other tutorials that y'all want to see, please let me know. I'm happy to do some others. I mainly do jewelry, but I have done a lot of home decor and things of that nature. So I'm happy to help out where I can. Just let me know in the comments box below. And if you need anything else, don't hesitate to reach out. Shooting Star SVG, signing out.